Bohr was one of the first, I think, the first in the school established in Nagaland. And uh, there was the meeting place for many tribes in Nagaland, like uh, Semas, Lothas, Changs, the, the, the present uh, Tinsan district, many tribes in the old used to come and that was the place where uh, people got education in the image standard. They were studying under very strict discipline, staying in the hostel, and then uh, the whole day they had one thing or the other to do, including uh, studies, classes, and then uh, we call it Kamchari work. Period. They had to do some work, uh, manual work, for the compound, for the school, and it was only on Saturday that it, it was full day, free day for all the students. So they will start playing football right beginning from seven o'clock. Another group will join, second, third, fourth, fifth, like that. By the time around nine o'clock, the football will be filled. Holy filled with players, with uh, about a dozen balls being played, and then there will be a lineup of goalkeepers for each for each uh, rival teams. But people, when they got a chance, they used to make the full use of it. ปนกลานวากตินโรสลัดอันตะอายตังกตินโรกอปานกตะโกตะหากะตะตะเตียวเอ็มนามันนุตังยบะนอกอปานกปงอตะกะตังตะสะอาสะยะอาสะยะเช
coming from a very remote place of Nagaland, he could excel in his life because of his inborn quality of football and then ultimately he became such a big legendary player. Tiao wrote, I will quote from his language, Zetia Moi 19 Asile, Tetia Moi Jorhat Christian High School of Represent Kurisi. Tarbisat Moi Metric Pass Korar Pasot, Gonghati Cotton College of Guisi. Moi Tat Puribolo Lucy. Tetia Gonghati Cotton College, Hihote Murnam to Agor Porai Hunile. He Karone Cotton College eleven of Muk Helibo Disi. Tetia Moi Cotton College Gonghati Football Team Standard to Kub Halpaisil, Kub Hayasil. Zor hatar pora all of basic standard asil. Tetia moi tat khela khomoyote moi khub bhal paisil aur bahut sikil hole. Moi college eleven of to kori sile mohar na club bolia ta bhal football team asile tate hiyote mo kloi sile. In memory of his laudable achievements, we have constructed one stadium in 1989. Finally completed a few years later on. So that is in the name of. Tiao. So maybe we will reconstruct it so that we will have a in, we will have a indoor football ground there. of Cotton College feel proud because Tiao was our student and Tiao after passing matriculation from Zurhat, Tiao had joined Cotton College in 1938 in IC and in 1940 he passed IC but he did not get any scholarship from the Assam government so he joined in BSc with physics honors. Then in 1941, after one year, he got the scholarship and he left to Calcutta Medical College. Now it is known as R.C. Medical College. At that time, as Cotonian, he was the sports and athletic secretary. He represented Cotton College in number of football games and he is also a good badminton player. He is 23 feet record of long jump, unofficial record of Indian long jump is untouched for a number of years. It's a great occasion for us to remember him because he was associated with this club when I was not born, that's in 40. So, and I am so proud to be this, the, this student of St. College. As I am from Cotton College, he studied in 40, started studying in 40, I joined college in 67. That's it. Big difference. Anyway, so that time our club was led by 
one of the best organizers of football, that is Anubis Ganguly. In 40s, when the PTR joined Cotton College, our team used to practice in the field, judges' field, next to the Cotton College. So, when our team practiced there, a few of the Cotton College who love football, they came out and um, they mixed them with the footballer, warming up. Mm -hmm. Among them was the the PR. Anibis Ganguly spotted his talent and he picked him and he request, not requested him, he even picked him up that the boy will come and join our club. That way he joined club and uh, it is now become history for the club as well for the North East as well as India. Those time in 40s, 60s formation of football was one goalkeeper, two backs, three halves and five forwards. And out of three halves, the centre half was the pivot of the team. He has to supply the ball, he has to defend the stadium. So that position was taken over by Dr. T. Yao, centre half. A pretty senior person. We also told you that there are other doctors who are also there who are playing along with him. And I gathered some experience from there. He was a very good student and at the same time very good player. And he was a dedicated person. But we also celebrated on, uh, on CAF in, in his memory, uh, Dr. T. Rao Memorial uh, CAF. This time he also, there is a, a big uh, football tournament in which 
his cup will be celebrated and we will also uh, call this game as uh, Dr. Uh, T. Rao Memorial Cup. I cannot say what has happened 75 years before. So, but what I feel that uh, Tiao, after joining Mohan Magan, his game also changed. And playing with substantial of good players, and because he was a great player, so players playing with good players also keep their standard high. Dr. T. Ao of Mohan Mahan Ratna. Mohan Mahan Ratna is the biggest award from our club. Like Shwainan Manna, Tuni Goswami got Mohan Mahan Ratna. Dr. T. Ao also got the Mohan Mahan Ratna. And Mohan Mahan Ratna is a very prestigious and big, one of the big awards from our club and the best award. By honoring him, we were actually honored. From the Northeast, I'm not telling about only Nagaland. Northeast Manipur, a lot of players are coming, a lot of footballers. Actually, 67 top players in the national team is from Northeast. These are very important statistics. But who is the ambassador of Northeast? Whether it is Baichung Bhutia? No, it is Dr. Tia. At that time, he started playing from Northeast. He is the only player from Northeast. From there, now it came to 67%. So, it was a great success for Northeast, but Tiao should be saluted in that manner because he was the ambassador of the Northeast. Maybe he is from Nagaland, but he is represented the whole Northeast. Hello, it's March, it's 2018. I'm in Ilford, on the fringes of Essex and East London. My name is Michael Foley. I'm the historian, I'm the chairman of the current Ilford Football Club. But we don't play here. In fact, we don't play anywhere near here. We play one mile the other side of the railway in another part of the borough. But this place is of huge significance to people who care about football and who care about my club. In 1904, my football club moved to a piece of open land on this site and for the next 75 years we played right here on the site of this rather nondescript and somewhat bleak housing estate. We played here from 1904 to 1979 and on this site some very famous and some very significant matches took place. It's the 31st of July 1948 and Ilford FC are playing host to a game in the London Olympics, the 1948 Olympiad. Now those two teams were France, not new to football at this level, and the national side sent by the Indian Federation, for whom this was uh, a truly historic moment. And this was their first game post-independence in 1947, right here in Ilford and I'm standing pretty much where the centre circle would have been 
and right here, the Indian captain, Talimera Neo, and the French captain, René Corbin, would have shaken hands very cordially. And that was just the beginning. tell one story that once he went to Dhaka so he was in the team that was a, in his uh, Southeast Asian tour a different he toured there along the Indian team but uh, at one moment uh, out of that he will not play that day he will give chance to his other colleagues but when the crowd uh, knew this he decided they decided not to uh, allow the players to go into the ground and ultimately when Ao sensed his decision that he would take part in the uh, take part in the play, then only ultimately the game started and the people enjoyed. Dr. Tio was uh, well known in India rather than in Nagaland. Even after coming here and serving as director of health services, uh, not much importance was given to him as a sportsman. But then uh, while well, he, he was studying in Kolkata, he was uh, known by almost everybody. Uh, we used to uh, uh, go to church or go to see the, some games or wherever we went, we used to travel in a tram. We jump into a running tram car and at the moment we jump in, uh, 
the people will say, Dok Tio, 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 or somebody will say, Auta, Auta, no? They will whisper among themselves because he was so well known. I remember he telling him that the uh, on one final, which I have no idea which was it was, if it was the IFA Shield or the Durand Cup. But that uh, fixture was, the final was on a Sunday. So he, Dr. T, he refused to play on a Sunday. So the organizers had to reschedule it on a Monday. So naturally there was such an outcry in Calcutta about this. But uh, they tried to persuade him, but he flatly refused. So they had to have the final honor the next day. So that was the thing I remember about him, and he was he wasn't proud of that, but he just said it matter of factly, you know, that he was not going to play on a Sunday. So that, that was that. My father Tio. He told me that the things which actually made him uh, such a legendary footballer were one, the hard work he put in. Of course, he had God given talent, but he really worked on it. I mean, he used to get up at 4 a.m., practice, and after class, again practice. Okay, so it is not that it was just there at his feet, he also had to work very hard. And he totally admits that he did so. And secondly, he had a very agile mind. So he used to study the technique of people. What were they doing and how can their tactics work better and why they succeeded in their game or why they failed in their game. He was forever uh, asking questions and trying to learn even from anyone. He had that humility. The desire to improve his game was there throughout in every field. And thirdly, he had a very strong Christian faith. He had a deep abiding faith in his maker and that always he used to uh, get a sustenance from that. These three are the things which I think uh, uh, really made him who he was.